Hi all, my name is Davis and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today it's time to say goodbye to my beloved iPhone 12 mini because today I've collected this, my brand's new iPhone 13 Pro. Yet this year I've decided to move on from the mini and go for a larger phone because of the luster of the new ProMotion display and also the fantastic improved cameras. They are such great temptations. Anyway, before I unbox this 512 gigabyte Sierra Blue phone, make sure that you are subscribed if you are new here and also give this video a like. If you aren't following me on TikTok and Instagram, my socials are in the description too. So let's have a look at this box first. On the front, we've got this lovely embossed um, design of the back of the phone. There's actually like a double embossing for the camera bump, which is very cool and accurate. Um, it's the same thin box design that we saw last year, except this is the Pro phone, so it is black. And on the back, we can see that there actually is no plastic covering. There's no plastic shrink wrap. Rather, we have this brand new type of um, cardboard um, security packaging. So let's undo that. Oh, it's a little bit tricky. Oh, that's actually really smooth. Let's do the bottom one. That is lovely. Okay, so now let's open her up. And three, two, one. Oh my God, she is actually beautiful. And also a very different color to the box. I mean, come on Apple, that clearly is a different color to this. <laughs> anyway, let's take her out. Oh my. It, first impressions, it is so heavy. It is so much heavier than my iPhone 12 mini, even with a case on. And the camera bump, while it's massive, it looks better in real life than it does in photos. It almost looks translucent, like you've got some lovely frosted glass around, which actually is a really attractive design. And the lenses are actually, they almost look like they've got ND filters on them. They're so dark. And I do love returning to this matte um, frosted glass finish um, that I used to have on my 11 Pro. And the sides as well, which are stainless steel, are just gorgeous. It's almost got a little bit of a holographic look to it. It reminds me of a TVR's paintwork. <laughs> and now let's look at the front. Okay, this is something that I disagree with. My favorite part of iPhone and all smartphone unboxings actually in the past has been removing the plastic screen protector. And over here, as we can see, because of the environment, Apple has gotten rid of that little pleasure in life. And they've replaced it with a, with a paper sticker thing. But at least they haven't wasted it because here we can see that they've, uh, they've labeled the mute switch over here, the ringer switch. And we know that these are the volume buttons and the power buttons over there. I've read that the um, power buttons are actually in a different spot to um, previous years, but I don't have a 12 Pro to directly compare it. But uh, it's just, it just feels so good in the hand. It's just, it feels incredible quality. Okay, now let's remove the screen protector. Three, two, one. That's actually still really satisfying. I'm not the most disappointed. And wow, that is a really big screen compared to the iPhone 12 mini. I don't know what I was expecting, but although this isn't the max, it still feels really big. Shall we turn it on now? Let's see if it's got any battery. <laughs> it's probably been weeks since this left the factory. And of course it does have battery. Looking around the phone, the ringer switch, I just love how shiny that is. It's got a really positive piece of feedback. The volume buttons feel great as well. Oh, it says hello. Oh, isn't that adorable? And I assume that is also hello in a different language. Again, it could be a swear. I don't know. <laughs> Before we take a look at the rest of the phone, let's see what else is in the box. And just like with last year, there is not really much at all. Um, we've got these documents on the top um, where our AirPods would have been a few years ago. Um, they come in this little, um, almost looks like a little McDonald's fries packet. And inside here, we've got the SIM removal tool. Is it a different color? No, it's the same silver as normal. Um, when I say documents, I mean, 
That's basically it. And then we've only got one sticker. I can't remember how many stickers we got um, last year. Was it two? Yeah. My camera person, Dennis, is saying two. So that is severe cost cutting there, Apple. I'm deeply unimpressed. And finally, we do have the lightning cable. I'm actually quite happy that they haven't switched to USB-C this year because if they did, so many of my accessories would be broken. And, um, but what I am really disappointed with is that there's no um, power brick again, which means that I'll have to stick to using my really old um, power bricks, which is fine, whatever. Okay, and that's basically the box. <laughs> Let's see the phone. I just can't explain how much more premium this, um, this pro version feels over the standard iPhone. I just wish they made it in a smaller size. Let's swipe up. That is so smooth. Obviously, this is the new 120 hertz ProMotion display, and it feels even smoother than the iPad for some reason. It's, it's incredible, it's so good. And we can also see um, the smaller notch over here. It's apparently a little bit taller than the old one, but it's basically unnoticeable. Um, let's pick English. <laughs> Select my country or region. <laughs> Why is the top one China mainland? <laughs> I have no idea. At least we're not in Afghanistan. That's good. We are in Antarctica. No, we're not. We're in Australia. Let's press that. Setting language. I'm really happy with the color. It's just this holographic style on the back is just so cool. Quick start. Yes, let's do that. While we wait for the phone to activate, let's unbox the case. So usually every year I go for the um, saddle brown leather case, as we can see on my, um, on my iPhone 12 mini. But this year I thought that I would be really adventurous and go for the brand new green version. I can't remember what sort of green it is. It's Sequoia green. Um, I think that's the name of a Toyota in America. Anyway, <laughs> let's open it up. How does one open up the case? There we go, let's try that again. Three, two, one. <laughs> and it's a really nice dark green. I would say it's really close to my favorite green of all time, British racing green. It is just absolutely lovely. But will it go with my blue phone? Let's see. It's actually quite sad how this case has more documentation than the phone. <laughs> um, let's pop it in. Oh, there's actually a really big ridge between the top of the case and the phone. I feel like there's a much bigger ridge than it w there was last year. Okay, so that will definitely protect the screen a bit more. Um, the buttons all feel really good. And the back, mm, okay, I'm not in love with the blue and green combo, but I had a look at all of the color options online and um, they were all fairly mediocre. So I'm thinking that I'll be happy with this. And also to note for the first time ever, um, even if you do get a case, there is still a massive camera bump. Um, so when you do put it on the table, it still rocks a bit, unlike last year. Okay, last year still rocked a little bit, but uh, that might just because um, the table isn't very straight. One of my fears with this phone is that apparently they've reduced the size of the Taptic engine and um, however it still feels pretty good so that's nothing to worry about if you are scared about it. And finally now it says welcome to iPhone and here it is. Instantly it just feels incredibly smooth. The 120 um, hertz display is just it's such a big improvement and we've been waiting for this forever. I just remember seeing the first ever iPad Pro with, um, with ProMotion and we were expecting the iPhone to get it the very next year. Little did we know that it would take this many years to get it, but let's just say that it was worth the wait. The most exciting thing about this phone, however, is not the display, rather the cameras. So now let's just try a few of the new features out, shall we? Okay, so instantly it tells me which sort of photographic style I want. So it's sort of like choosing what sort of profile for the colors and saturation stuff that you want on a normal camera. So we've got a choice between standard, rich contrast, vibrant, warm, and cool. I'm not a monster, so let's go with standard. <laughs> and here we go. Standard also looks very vibrant. So um, 
but I guess this room is pretty vibrant. So the big headlining feature obviously is cinematic mode. Let's try that out. So what cinematic mode does is that it tries to simulate the look of a big censored camera so it gives you the lovely blurry backgrounds that you just can't get with a phone sensor like this one. So for instance normally if I shoot this iPhone over here actually there is a really pleasing blurred background. Um, this new sensor is a lot larger than it used to be but let's compare it to how it looks like in cinematic mode. And wow, that is very blurry. Let me just tell you right now that it isn't quite as perfect as um, one would ideally like, but I think that this technology is very exciting and in the future could be really good. But what's also exciting is that cinematic mode also works with the front-facing camera, so let's give that a go. That, look, that looks really good. It definitely is a little bit better than um, the blurred background effect on Zoom. And another of the big features obviously is the macro mode. So let's give that a go. So I'm just going to pick up this lovely documentation here. On my old iPhone 12 mini, let's try to take a picture of it and see how close we can get. Okay, so this is basically as close as I can get, which is um, it's still quite respectable, but let's see what I can get with the new macro um, camera. Apparently I can be as close as two centimeters. And oh my God, that is pretty incredible. When they announced that they were doing a macro camera this year, I was honestly very unimpressed because we've seen macro um, cameras on a lot of phones in the past, but usually they're teamed up with, a, with like a rubbish two megapixel sensor. But this is actually genuinely useful. I've seen so many people on TikTok um, using the macro camera, taking pictures of their eyes and stuff, and it's genuinely very cool. And that's it for the iPhone 13 Pro unboxing. If you enjoy these longer videos, please let me know and I will make more in the future. I'm getting a 13 Pro Max in the coming weeks as well. So so if you'd like to see a comparison between the two, I am more than happy to make one of those. Please like this video if you haven't done so yet, and also remember to follow my socials. But until next time, toodaloo!